Hi guys, how are you? My name is Swan Titanium. Welcome back. Now I'm going to show you, okay, this stupid idea. Well, you know, if we just print money, we'll create demand. We'll just give it out to, to people in uh, work fair, fake job guarantee, because they can't understand what job means, okay? A uh, job is something that you produce that other people want and you make a profit off of it. That's a job, okay? You sitting around guarding a lamppost is not a job, okay? Anyway, I'm going to get into that in a moment. Before we do that, this is the trick that MMT is playing on everybody, all right? So watch this video and you'll understand. Hey, buddy, what can I get you? You know what, bartender? I think I have a bet for you. Oh, yeah? My golf. Yeah, well, I'm going to bet you $300 that I can pee in that shot glass all the way over there and not spill a single solitary drop. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that you, standing right there, right here, can pee all the way over into that tiny little glass and not spill a single solitary drop anywhere? Exactly. Psh, it's a bet. Bring it on, bro. Okay. Here it comes. Oh, baby. Here it comes. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Doesn't even matter. You didn't even get in the glass, so you owe me three hundred dollars. <laughs> I'll be back in one second. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I just got three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at. You just lost $300. Uh, you see those guys over there? Yeah. Yeah, well, I bet them $500 a piece that I could pee on your bar, pee on your bar floor, and pee all over you, and not only would you not be mad, but you'd be happy. <laughs> <Not good. laughs> Toodles. Okay, <laughs> that is exactly what MMT is doing. They are offering you, okay, free money to the poor that they care so much, as if the poor are always poor. It's not the way it works, okay? People go through hard times, they be, you know, they become poor and then they get a job and then they're not poor. <laughs> There's a million other reasons why these people are unemployed and whatever. Anyway, they're going to promise you work fair. Okay, well, you just show up, you punch a little clock, and you get $31,000 a year, 32000 whatever it is, okay? You're going to get full benefits, free, just print the money and let it go. Plus, you're going to get a nice little credit card because you have a job, okay? And then you're going to go out, and you're going to spend that money, right? It's, well, we're, we're creating demand in the economy. That's what we're doing. Yeah, we're creating demand. So the government is going to pay you to do nothing. Then you're going to disave that money to business so they can have a profit. Okay, that's the way that works. And then those profits are going to go into savings. And then those savings are going to go into investment. They're not going to go underneath... A a mattress and then that investment some of it yes does go back into the functional economy like we said in the previous video but the reality is the vast majority of those dollars are going to flow to the top five percent okay and they are going to create asset price inflation stocks bonds commodities and real estate so why you think, you little smarty pants, you think you're getting that $300 and you're making out like a bandit, guess what? The top 1%, 5% are making boatloads of fucking money, trillions and trillions of endless trillions of dollars into asset prices. Toodoo-doo! Okay, that is the old bait and switch. That's what it is. That's what they're doing. That's why they're neoliberals. They're full of shit. 
And that's why they're like, quick, 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 quick. People are starving. They're dying. They're in the streets. Look at Baltimore. And look at Detroit. Everybody's dying. Quick, can we get deficits now, please? Please, we need deficits. That's deficit. Yeah, deficits is high powered money. It's, it's hard powered. Okay, it's vertical. It goes up. Vertical money. Yeah, we need it now. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll tax the, the, the rich later. Don't worry about it. Can we get deficits? Uh, Green New Deal. We need a Green New Deal. Yeah. A bunch of unskilled, untrained, workfare people are going to, what, build the technology of tomorrow? Are you serious? This is all gimmicks. This is all marketing. It's bullshit. Okay? They, they're they giving you $300, and they're getting $1,500. That's, that's what this is all about. So you're going to have a Green New Deal for one point whatever, two trillion, and then you're going to have a... Uh, job guarantee for um, nine million. It's going to cost about 550 billion. We're not going to even count the credit cards. How much that's going to be? And we're going to have free health care. And we're going to have free college. And we're going to pay off all the debts. Okay. And all you're doing is issuing those bonds coming from savers, and then that money is going into the functional economy to to, to spend all these things on all these things. And then that's going to go into the stock market, into savings, investment. Keep pushing up those asset prices, making the rich richer, and you're getting inequality. That's what you're getting. Inequality. MMT is for socialism for the top 5%. Okay? That's what MMT is all about. It, it does not fix inequality. It creates it. It creates excessive deficits that are funding household to create artificial demand. Well, not artificial because people are actually getting something, but funding, f funding, the government funding the household, they must dissave, okay, to have a profit. That's that's the way it works. And then profits go into savings, and savings go into investment, as I've said before. And you get asset price inflation. If you are truly serious about fixing inequality, what do you want? This is what you want. You want money to flow from investment back into the household to fund income and the savings so it can go to business profit and then that profit is going to go into savings investment and then it's going to go right back and you're going to have an ecosystem feedback loop that is going to reduce debt to gdp because the economy will keep growing you don't need more money to grow an economy you need more production to grow an economy and then when the household starts having some savings, and they're the ones that are buying the new, newly issued bonds, okay, to fund that, um, that those small deficits or whatever the deficit is required, if it's in a recession, you need more, okay, then and only then are you going to have a sustainable economy, and you're going to see debt to GDP start to drop, okay, and the way I'm going to explain this to you is to think about Bitcoin. Bitcoin, there's only a limited amount of Bitcoins in the world. But the production and the, the money that flows through Bitcoin, you don't need trillions and trillions of dollars, uh, I'm sorry, of Bitcoins uh, to create this transaction and, 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 and push productivity. The productivity just happens. The Bitcoins are just there sitting around. And by no means, means am I endorsing uh, Bitcoin, but you get the point, right? The, the production continues. The, the Bitcoin is just a, a medium of exchange. Now, if somebody wants to hoard it because it thinks, you know, price goes up and down, forget about that part. That's nonsense. We're talking about the, the productivity that comes from Bitcoin exchanging uh, money in order to uh, facilitate productivity. And fake MMTers have this stupid idea in their head that if you don't deficit spend, well, we're all fucking screwed. It's all over. Thank you very much. There can never be profits. There can never be uh, uh, any income. Uh, nobody's going to prosper. And, uh, you know, we want all this free stuff. The $300. We want the $300. Forget about the trillions that the 1% are going to, to, um, to, to benefit from. And then I love this one. Well, it depends where you spend. If you spend here, then, you know, it's, it's, it's better than when you spend here or you spend here. No, it doesn't matter. Because no matter where you spend... It's always going to end up in savings and investment and asset price. So don't get fooled. 
All right? Don't get fooled. That's it for now. Uh, talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.